Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, I will show you how you can remove all the containers in your system which is not in running state. Okay. So basically, today I was doing some stuff and I found out that I have multiple container IDs or I will say multiple containers which are basically not running and it's taking a lot of space and I need to clean up all these containers. Okay. So I thought let me click quickly create one video on this so that tomorrow if you have to you know clean the number of containers that is not currently in running stage you want to delete them this is how you can do that so let me show you how you can do this so before we start this video if you are new to the container what is docker what is container how do we work with docker containers then our dedicated videos or i will say dedicated playlist on this so please go ahead and watch that series it will give you enough idea about what is docker what is containers and how you can use this containers in testing okay so basically you can use this container in development testing and devops in any place but mainly the series that i've created is will guide you how you can use docker containers in testing so basically if i show you one command called docker container ls so you can see right now it is showing the containers which is currently running so right now I don't have any container which is in the running stage. So it is showing blank. It is just giving me the column names which is container ID, image, command, created and so on. But if I say docker container ls hyphen a. So it will list down all the containers which is in my system which are in stop stage as well. Okay so as you can see in the status column I have all these containers which is not currently running right. It is giving me all these co columns, docker, container, id, image, command, create, status, port and so on. But what if I just need the id because the moment I start removing containers, I just need this container id, right? For example, if I want to remove this container, so I will be using one command called docker uh, rm, then container id. The moment I hit enter, you can see this container got deleted, right? So if I run once again docker ls hyphen a you can see that container is not there. Okay so it means if I have to remove the containers I need all the IDs. So now if I just run the previous command which is docker container ls hyphen a now if I just add q okay so what it will do it will only give me the list of container IDs okay which is in my system. So I don't need all the information I just need the ID in order to remove. Now how do we remove this just one command so let me show you that command so just type docker and then type container and just type prune and you can see it is asking this will remove all stopped container do you want to continue yes or no okay so as of now if I say no because I want to show you uh, this command so just type space space help so that you will get some information about this command so it says it will remove all the stopped containers and it also have one flag called hyphen f or you can use hyphen hyphen force so it will not ask you for any confirmation right now if you see the first one it is asking my confirmation right but if you use hyphen f or hyphen hyphen force it will not ask any confirmation you can also do some kind of filtering okay so it depends on the condition you can apply the filter and use it so again I will use this command or maybe I will clear this first. I will simply run docker container prune and hit enter. Now it in, again it will ask me do you want to run or uh, remove all the stop containers. The moment I say yes. So as you can see now it says deleted containers and uh, we got all this. So now if you just go and run docker. ps hyphen a you can see I don't have any container at all so all the containers which so basically in my case all the containers were in the stop stage right so the moment I executed docker container prune it executed and it removed all the stop containers so I don't have any container at all in my system so before we end this video I just want to highlight that even though we have removed these containers which is which was in the stopped stage but if I again type docker images 
you can see I still have these images in my system, right? So you can see I have these many images. These are the tags, these are the image IDs, and this is when I have used them, right? So you can see a few images I used 17 months ago. And let's say if I don't need all of them now. So if I just have to remove one by one, you can just use Docker RMI and provide that image ID. For example, if I just type uh, Docker, rmi remove image and i just want to remove this image okay so i will just use this image id space hit enter and you can see deleted right so if i just press and use the same command you will see this time i'm not getting that particular image right which was 17 months ago so last entry is 14 months now if i use the same prune command that i showed you but i want to use it with the images now so I just type docker system okay just type prune and hyphen hyphen l just remember guys previously we have used docker container prune this time i'm using docker system prune space hyphen hyphen help the moment you execute this command so it says it will remove the unused data so again hyphen a basically remove all unused images and hyphen f it will not ask for any confirmation and again hyphen hyphen volume for prune volumes okay so now let's use the same command now i will use docker uh, system and i will just type prune and i will be using hyphen a because i want to remove all if you just type hyphen a if you just type docker system prune and uh, hit enter it will only remove the dangling images but i want to remove all the unused images okay so i will use docker space system space prune hyphen a the moment i hit enter now it says it will you know delete all of them or remove all of them i will say yes i'll just type y so basically it took few minutes and uh, somehow i couldn't capture the output i just restarted my command prompt so again now if i show you all this uh, docker images command you can see now i don't have any docker images because of the prune command okay so I used prune command with containers, which basically removed all the stopped containers. But if you want to use with system, that will basically remove images and stopped containers as well. So that's a very quick video. So again, if you just want to remove containers one by one, you can use Docker RM container ID. If you have multiple, you can give Docker RM and con multiple containers. But if you want to remove all the containers in one go, just use Docker container prune and you will be able to use it just a small disclaimer this only available the latest version of the docker versions okay in the previous version this command was not available so it's available in the latest version of docker so that's all for this video guys so in case if you got some benefit from this video then please share this video with your friends colleagues and uh, please subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye